be me. It could be any one of my sisters. Period. What you mad at? Hmm. But it is me. Shoulda, coulda, woulda, bitch. I like these lashes. I got these from a seller on Instagram. Yeah, I got this top from Rainbow. It is super cute. It's like a bandana tube top. I got these shorts from Ross. I paired them together. Just we were supposed to go to Freak Nick, but, but due to the weather, we didn't make it. So we ended up just going to a bar, which coinkadinkly, we ran into my day one best friend. And we ended up hanging out with her and her friends. And now we're home. It's like almost three in the morning. I'm about to warm up my mall food, Chinese food. Bay had cooked some chicken. It's called crack chicken. Ain't that what it's called? Yeah. It's called crack chicken. She saw this recipe. I think she Googled it. And she cooked it. So that's probably what we'll have tomorrow. But I'm about to warm up some Chinese food tonight. Because I need to eat. Because I'm a little litty. I love my new tattoo, by the way. If y'all want a story behind my tattoos, let me know. I'll be happy to do one. But I did, hold on, hold on. I did get my spirit numbers, 333, which equals my life pattern number, which is nine. Cause y'all know three times three is nine. So, I felt like that was symbolic, and plus, I always see 333 three, three anyway. So, I got that tatted. I got derby numbers. That's the design of the numbers. And if y'all don't know, I live in the Kentucky Derby City. So, I just was like, you know what? And while I was getting tatted, Bay caught 333 three, three on the clock. So... Today was a good day. It became a good day. Me and Bay went out for, a, we had a drink and a shot. We had a drink and a shot and had some good laughs and brought our asses home. Yeah. I'm gonna take these lashes off. You know the name of these lashes is Swallow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
slicker accessories on Instagram. I swear, these lashes I got out of Crown Swallow. I love these lashes. I had to throw the other pair away because I ruined them, but I bought doubles, so I had these. And this is my first time wearing them, so yeah. Well, first time wearing the second pair anyway. The first pair I have wore a couple of times. I brought that liner glue situation, but I can't never get the liner off. So I just been using the duo glue, but I think I used too much glue tonight cause my lash, my eyelid kept getting stuck together. Tomorrow, I'm going to sleep like a baby. Y'all, my tattoo is a little red and it's a little sore, but it doesn't sting. Like, I'm glad it doesn't sting. I'd be pissed. Y'all, put this in here for about 25 more seconds. One more week of training, y'all. And then I go on the production floor. Not really excited but it's not that I can't handle and the state fair starts Thursday you might go to the state fair next Saturday as our little outing I honestly she wants a fucking funnel cake don't tell me babe I'm naked Oh, I forgot. Yeah, that's why I've been. They can so see your head. Y'all yeah. see your head. Oh my god. Go get your food. I wasn't gonna show you naked. Okay. <sighs> see, I didn't show her naked. I'm gonna see my food, y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Cause I'm probably gonna pass out after I eat anyway. Hey y'all. Happy Sunday fun day. Let me put some lip gloss on, y'all. This is my beauty supply lip gloss. When I just need some moisture. Cause my lips feel dry. Okay, so. My apologies. We didn't really do nothing this weekend. Because for one, I didn't know it was supposed to rain. And for two, mm, a little park event that we were supposed to go to, it got moved to a different location. And I don't know. After I got my tattoo, which my tattoo didn't take that long. It took like 40, 45 minutes. But the appointment before me had ran over, so I didn't get started on until later. And then we still had to eat. We ended up going to the mall. That's what happened. Ended up going to the mall so that I could run in Victoria's Secret to pay on my Victoria's Secret credit card. And we ended up getting some cookies and some food. I think that's enough. <laughs> we ended up getting some cookies and some food. And coming home, it had started raining. So, excuse me. We just decided, like, it's going to be muddy. It's going to be humid, sticky. Not, like, it's going to be mosquitoes, park weather. Like, no. So, they ended up moving the event anyway somewhere else which was technically closer to home but by that time you know we had waited for a little minute to see like are they even gonna have it are they rescheduling it woo -woo -woo. so they ended up still having it but it got moved somewhere else by that time we were kind of discouraged and going so we just ended up eating chilling and then we ended up going to the bar i was like well i at least want to go out and get a drink or do hookah we were going to go to this hookah bar but we couldn't find parking. Then we was gonna go to this one club because they have this drink that I really like, but the line was stupid long, 
stupid ridiculous long. So it's a lot of events that are taking place this weekend. And, you know, it was just too many people to be out. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, well, let's just go to this one bar. It's not going to be that crowded. They really don't play music. It's like a really like a little lounge kick it spot. Typically when I go to the club, I go to the smoking section, patio. That's my spot. I don't like being in clubs because I overheat very easily anyway. So we end up just going to this club, not this club. We end up going to this bar and my best friend just happened to be there with her girlfriend and some other friends. So we ended up catching up with her, chilling with them for a few hours. And then we ended up just coming on back home. And it was so cool. Cause like, that's my day one. So it was, I hadn't seen her in a minute. So it was so good to see her and like catch up with her or whatnot. And they were waiting on food. Cause this particular bar, they're really known for their food. They have really good bar food. So they was waiting on their order. So they had gotten a few drinks. Me and Gina got like a drink and shot a piece, you know, just to kind of chit chat or whatever. And then we ended up coming on back home because Gina had an event to go to today with her homegirl. Her and her homegirl had got tickets for the Teresa Caputo. She's a medium. So they had got tickets for her convention that she's hosting here. So they just went to that. I didn't get a ticket in time. So I didn't end up going. And I was like, it's cool. You know, I don't, there's some activities where I feel like we can do together. And then sometimes I'll be like, well, you went out with me for a drink last night. Go out with your girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, no big deal. I'll find something to do. So, of course, talking to y'all. But, um, yeah. There's just too much going on. And, like, maybe had I gotten there earlier, I would have, you know, already had my drink dance a little bit and then like chuck the deuces because for some reason our clubs don't really get packed until like 12 30. so by the time we got there it was hard to find parking and i wasn't standing in nobody's line so that's that <laughs> we didn't really do nothing this weekend pretty much but kind of chill we was like on chill vibes this weekend we just got back from miami so that makes sense and we're supposed to be going to Atlanta for Labor Day weekend to celebrate my mom and my sister's birthday. But I really want to go. It just kind of depends on the status of everything else. I have a nail appointment coming up. I want to do another giveaway for y'all, but that's probably going to happen like mid-September, late September. I'll keep y'all posted. And then, you know, by that time, we'll be getting into the fall of things, you know, I'm trying to stay as positive and optimistic as possible. Y'all know I just got my spirit numbers tatted on me. Um, so I'm really just trying to live my best life, manifest my dreams, and, you know, just work towards the better. That's, that's all we can do. So I hope y'all are doing the same. I hope all of you guys are staying as healthy, happy, and humble as possible possible um and let us know what you want to see here on our channel um as far as gina's reaction i'll probably come back on later um just so she can share her thoughts about you know being in the midst of a medium and what that whole experience was like for her just to close out the vlog in case any of you guys are interested or if any of you have ever heard of her um so yeah, I'm going to just do a quick haul because I got some things that I didn't necessarily, I haven't shown y'all, so I wanted to um, show you guys. There are just some few little accessories and like, I got two little outfits, <laughs> so we just going to breeze through it. So I'm going to start with, um, I'm going to start with the accessories. So I got this cute little purse, y'all. So when we were in Miami... We did not make it to the mall. We're actually thinking about doing a Miami redo if COVID permits um, before it gets cold. But our homegirl had to uh, go get some undergarments. And the closest store to us was, of course, a rainbow in South Beach. So I got this little bag. And it's so cute. I really like the blush color. This, to me, is a very universal color. But um, 
I just thought it was really, really cute. And I love having cute little going out, running errand bags, or like if I don't want to carry a crossbody, and I definitely don't want to carry a big bag, I can carry like something like this. It does come with a crossbody strap, and it's just a cute little bag. I love the little like ridged um, handles, and I love like blush pink. It's one of my favorite colors. I am not a fan of pink pink, but like something like this, like a pastel neutral pink, I love. So it's just a cute little handle bag. Um, I carried this pretty much all weekend, and I carried it out last night when we went to the bar without the strap. Uh, I would only keep the strap on me if I was going to like, maybe next weekend when we go to the fair. If we go to the fair, I'll throw this on and carry it as a crossbody. But it's just a cute little bag. And I got it to go with this outfit that also came from Rainbow. So this is what I had on last night, but I had on some different shorts. It's just a bandana bandeau top. It was really, really cute. Got it in a size medium. I love the, you know, the trendiness of it. It has all the different bandana, bandana print on it. Paisley print to be politically correct. And I just got these blush toned biker shorts, which you could pair with anything, a black top, a white top, a bodysuit. I love these, especially for lounging around in. So, yeah. Got that. And y'all know Rainbow's good for having those cute little basic items for $5.99, $6.99. So, I got that. And then I also got these shoes. Hold on. Which are super cute. I'll just pick up one of them for right now. They're these blush tone um, sandals. And... They go with the purse. So that was really cute. I think the sandals were like $12.99 or something like that. But that entire little outfit came from Rainbow. And then from Ross, I had got this top, which I need to take it back to Ross and see if they can take the security alarm off of it. Cause it busted, but I'm gonna keep the top. Like I'm still gonna keep this cause it's a cute little top. So yeah, I got this little halter crop top. Y'all see the security thing still on it and it busted? Yeah, I'm gonna take it back with the receipt. Ugh. Like, bruh, Run me. at least get it off. I don't care about the stain. I can take care of that. But I also got these shorts, which these are the shorts that I paired with the uh, bandana top last night. And I really like how they make me look a little curvaceous, even though I'm in the little booty community. But they were really comfortable and soft, and they, of course, they ridge in the back. So yeah, those two items, last two items came from Ross. And then the last item, I actually got this last weekend. Um, it's a dress. It's just a really nice burnt orange dress. I'm really into these types of like earthy tones in the summer going into the fall. And I love a good mini dress. So yeah, got that from Ross. Just the last few little summer items before we close out the summer season, you know. And then me and Gina had went to the flea market. We got some nose rings and some tongue rings. I changed my nose ring. I had a blue one, but I just missed my little diamond. So I had to get that. And then we just got a pair of sunglasses. Gina had lost her pair in Miami. So she had to get another pair. And then I got another pair and we kind of got the same style, but different colors. You know what I'm saying? So these are Gina's and these are mine. So yeah. Got some new sunglasses, last little sunnies for the season. You feel me? And then lastly, I got some paint supplies, which I might paint here when I get done recording this quick little clip. Um, I might paint, finish smoking, have a little smoke session to myself and take a shower and find a movie to watch. So yeah, that's gonna be the, the in that order. So I got these brushes from Ross. 
All my tools came from Ross. So I have these brushes that I've used here recently. This is just to mix my colors. These are the paints um, from Craft Gear. So they're acrylic paints and they come in a variety of colors. I got the small ones because it, because it came with more of a range. Um, I believe the paint was like five or six ninety nine. Brushes was three ninety nine. Um, the canvases were three ninety nine. And yeah, you got all these brushes and the mixers for like four dollars. Like you can't beat that. Just to, you know, kind of have something to do. And then here are the canvases. I got black canvases because I love color on black versus white. So yeah. Little arts and crafts hobby thing that I picked up here recently. So yeah, that's all I really wanted to share with you guys. I will end up the vlog here a little later so you guys can get it later on this evening. And I hope you guys enjoyed my mini little haul. The recording setup for today. I thought it was real cute. Look at base flowers. They are gorgeous. Fresh flowers. I'm going to try to keep this up. I'm about to water them now. You're supposed to water them every day. But I'm about to paint. And yeah. In a very like black-minded mindset when it came to me. Seeing this vision fall through. Um, so like I said, I feel like that happened for me to like see my vision solid and plain and somebody else doing it to remind me and to like basically be a reality check that you can make this shit happen like it's very doable y'all we about to call it a night i completely forgot but Bay says she enjoyed herself it was an experience um we gotta get ready to call it a night and we will see y'all next weekend. Hopefully we do something more exciting next weekend. And we're going to pay attention to the weather a lot more closely. For sure. But I hope y'all had a good weekend. And we will see y'all in the next vlog.